Have you ever wondered why you feel isolated and what purpose it might serve in your life? Isolation is not a coincidence, but a divine purpose for personal and spiritual growth. This period offers a chance to deepen your relationship with God and focus on your spiritual development without daily distractions. Embracing isolation is not a punishment, but an essential part of your spiritual journey, demanding introspection, resilience, and unwavering faith in God's plan. The first thing you should never do when God isolates you is neglect the chance for spiritual growth. Isolation provides the opportunity to focus deeply on your spiritual development, free from distractions. Engage in meditation and prayer during quiet times. Use this period to listen more closely to God's voice and understand His plans for you. When you embrace these moments of solitude, you create a sacred space for spiritual growth and divine connection. Think of how Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness, fasting and praying. This period was crucial for His ministry, and it can be just as crucial for your spiritual journey. Your quiet time can be a source of strength, clarity, and divine inspiration, enabling you to navigate life's challenges with renewed faith and purpose. Additionally, during these times, you can explore spiritual texts, join virtual study groups, or even start a journal to document your spiritual insights and prayers. This active engagement in your spiritual growth ensures that you are making the most of your isolation. It can also be helpful to set specific goals for your spiritual practice, such as memorizing scripture, completing a Bible study, or writing daily reflections. Establishing a sacred routine can help you stay committed and create a sense of purpose in your spiritual journey. Joining a community of faith, even virtually, can provide support and accountability as you deepen your spiritual practices. You might also consider incorporating different forms of prayer, such as contemplative prayer, intercessory prayer, or praying the Psalms to enrich your spiritual experience. Regularly reviewing your spiritual goals and celebrating your progress can help you stay motivated and connected to your faith journey. Exploring different theological perspectives and teachings can also broaden your understanding of faith and deepen your spiritual insights. The second thing you should never do when God isolates you is overlook the opportunity to refine your character. Solitude allows for self-discovery and the identification of personal weaknesses. Reflect on your personal habits and behaviors and consider how they align with your spiritual values. God uses isolation to mold you into a better individual, ready for a greater purpose. This refining process is crucial for your spiritual journey as it prepares you for the challenges and blessings ahead. Just as a blacksmith uses fire to purify and strengthen metal, God uses isolation to purify and strengthen your character. During this time, you may confront uncomfortable truths about yourself, but these revelations are necessary for your growth. By acknowledging and addressing these weaknesses, you become a stronger, more resilient person. Consider creating a daily routine that includes moments of self-reflection and personal assessment. Engage in activities that challenge your weaknesses and seek feedback from trusted friends or mentors. These practices will help you identify areas for improvement and provide a roadmap for personal growth. Moreover, volunteering your time or resources even in small ways, can build character by instilling a sense of purpose and service to others. Developing new skills or hobbies that challenge your patience and persistence can also be beneficial. These activities not only occupy your time, but also foster personal growth and resilience. Regularly reviewing your progress and setting new goals can help you stay motivated and focused on your character development. Engaging in spiritual disciplines such as fasting, simplicity, or service can further refine your character and deepen your relationship with God. Reading biographies of saints or other spiritual role models can also provide inspiration and practical examples of character growth. Developing a habit of journaling your thoughts, challenges, and progress can provide insight into your personal growth and highlight areas for further improvement. The third thing you should never do when God isolates you is neglect strengthening your faith. Spending time in prayer and meditation strengthens your foundation of faith. Set aside daily moments for spiritual practices and rely on God for strength and guidance. This period of isolation 
is a time to deepen your understanding of His will and to build a stronger, more resilient faith. Your unwavering trust in God's plan will sustain you through the trials and tribulations of life. Think of the biblical story of Job, who despite losing everything, maintained his faith in God. His story is a powerful reminder that faith can carry you through the darkest times. Use your time of isolation to read scripture, reflect on God's promises, and strengthen your faith, knowing that he is always with you, guiding and protecting you. Consider establishing a prayer routine that includes gratitude, confession, and supplication. You can also engage in group prayer sessions through online platforms to connect with others and share your faith journey. This collective support can enhance your faith and provide a sense of community, even during isolation. Additionally, fasting can be a powerful spiritual discipline that deepens your faith and reliance on God. Setting aside regular times for fasting and prayer can bring clarity and spiritual insight, strengthening your connection to God. Exploring different forms of worship, such as music or art, can also enrich your faith and provide new ways to connect with God. Participating in virtual church services or Bible studies can keep you connected to your faith community and provide ongoing spiritual nourishment. Reading theological books or listening to faith-based podcasts can also deepen your understanding of your faith and provide encouragement during isolation. Practicing gratitude by keeping a gratitude journal can shift your focus to the blessings in your life and reinforce your faith in God's goodness. Engaging in spiritual retreats, even virtually, can offer a deeper, more focused time of communion with God and strengthen your spiritual practices. Seeking out spiritual mentors or guides can provide personalized support and direction in your faith journey. The fourth thing you should never do when God isolates you is fail to realign your priorities. Isolation is a time to reflect on what truly matters and realign your goals and relationships. Evaluate your personal and professional goals to ensure they align with your spiritual values. This introspection leads to significant personal growth and a more purposeful life. By realigning your priorities, you can focus on what is truly important and live a life that honors God. Consider the story of Martha and Mary in the Bible. While Martha was busy with many tasks, Mary chose to sit at Jesus' feet and listen to his teachings. Jesus commended Mary for choosing the better part, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing spiritual over worldly concerns. In your time of isolation, you have the chance to reevaluate and realign your life, ensuring that your actions and goals reflect your faith and values. Take this time to write down your goals and examine how they fit into God's plan for your life. Seek guidance through prayer and meditation to ensure your priorities are aligned with your spiritual path. Additionally, consider reaching out to a spiritual mentor or advisor to discuss your goals and receive counsel. This process of realignment can bring clarity and purpose to your life, helping you stay focused on what truly matters. Setting specific, measurable goals can help you track your progress and stay committed to your new priorities. Regularly reviewing and adjusting these goals ensures that you remain aligned with your spiritual values and purpose. Creating a vision board or other visual reminders can help you stay focused and motivated on your path. Writing a personal mission statement or life purpose statement can also provide direction and clarity for your decisions and actions. Reflecting on the impact you want to have on others and how you can serve God's kingdom can further refine your priorities and give you a deeper sense of purpose. Engaging in activities that align with your values, such as volunteering or mentoring, can help solidify your priorities and provide practical ways to live out your faith. The fifth thing you should never do when God isolates you is succumb to negative distractions. It's crucial to steer clear of gluttony and laziness, focusing instead on nurturing activities. Practice mindfulness and engage in soul-nourishing activities. Negative distractions can hinder your spiritual growth while positive habits foster it. By avoiding these pitfalls, you can maintain a clear and focused mind ready to receive God's guidance. Negative distractions, such as excessive screen time, unhealthy eating and procrastination, can easily creep in when you are isolated. 
These activities not only waste valuable time, but also cloud your mind and spirit. Instead, engage in activities that uplift your soul, such as reading inspirational books, practicing gratitude, or participating in online faith communities. These positive habits will help you stay connected to your spiritual path and keep your mind and body healthy. Additionally, setting boundaries for your screen time and being intentional about your daily activities can help you avoid these negative distractions. Create a schedule that includes time for work, rest, and spiritual activities, ensuring that you maintain a balanced and focused routine. Engaging in hobbies and creative pursuits can also provide a positive outlet for your energy and keep you mentally stimulated. Establishing healthy routines and habits can create a sense of structure and purpose, helping you stay focused and productive during isolation. Finding an accountability partner can also be beneficial in staying on track with your goals and avoiding distractions. Developing mindfulness practices such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga can help you stay present and focused. Keeping a journal to track your progress and reflect on your experiences can also provide insight and motivation to stay on course. Setting short-term and long-term goals for your personal and spiritual growth can help you stay focused and avoid distractions. Engaging in community service or volunteer work, even virtually, can provide a sense of purpose and keep you connected to others. Practicing self-discipline in small daily tasks can build resilience and help you avoid larger negative distractions. Engaging in regular physical activity can boost your mood and energy levels, making it easier to resist negative distractions. The sixth thing you should never do when God isolates you is remain inactive and disengaged. Avoid stagnation by participating in outdoor activities and hobbies. Engage in nature walks, creative outlets, and hobbies that bring you joy. Staying active helps maintain your mental and emotional well-being. Physical activity and creative expression are essential components of a balanced and fulfilling life, even in times of isolation. Physical exercise, such as walking in nature, can be incredibly rejuvenating for your mind and spirit. Nature itself is a reflection of God's creation and can provide a sense of peace and connection to the divine. Additionally, engaging in creative activities, such as painting, writing, or playing music, can serve as a therapeutic outlet, allowing you to express your emotions and maintain mental clarity. These activities not only keep you physically and mentally healthy, but also enhance your spiritual journey by providing moments of joy and reflection. Consider joining online groups or classes related to your hobbies to stay connected and motivated. Engaging with others who share your interests can provide a sense of community and support, even from a distance. Regular physical activity and creative expression can also improve your overall well-being, making you more resilient to stress and challenges. You might also explore new activities that you've always wanted to try, such as learning a new instrument, cooking new recipes, or starting a garden. These pursuits can provide a sense of accomplishment and keep your mind engaged and active. Volunteering for causes you're passionate about, even virtually, can also provide a sense of purpose and connection. Engaging in regular physical activity can improve your mood and reduce feelings of anxiety and depression. Trying new hobbies or creative pursuits can keep your mind engaged and provide a sense of accomplishment. Setting small, achievable goals for your physical and creative activities can help you stay motivated and track your progress. Finding ways to integrate physical activity with spiritual practice, such as prayer walks or meditative movement, can enrich both your body and spirit. The seventh thing you should never do when God isolates you is compare your journey to others. Each person's journey is unique, and comparison can undermine self-worth. Focus on your personal strengths and improvements rather than others' achievements. Trust in God's unique plan for you, and concentrate on becoming the best version of yourself. Embrace your individuality, and appreciate the distinctive path that God has laid out for you. The Bible reminds us in Galatians 6, 4, 5 to focus on our own work and take pride in it without comparing ourselves to others. Comparing your journey to others can lead to feelings of inadequacy and frustration, which can hinder your spiritual growth. Instead, celebrate your progress and trust 
that God has a unique and wonderful plan for your life. By focusing on your own path, you can fully embrace the lessons and growth that come from your personal experiences. Reflect on your personal achievements and milestones and acknowledge the progress you have made. Keep a journal of your journey to track your growth and remind yourself of God's faithfulness. Remember that your worth is not determined by how you measure up to others, but by your faithfulness to the path God has set for you. Additionally, practice gratitude for the unique aspects of your journey and the blessings that come with it. This mindset can help you stay positive and focused on your personal growth. Surround yourself with supportive people who celebrate your unique journey and encourage your progress. Engaging in positive self-talk and affirmations can also help you maintain a healthy perspective on your individual path. Reminding yourself of God's promises and the unique gifts and talents He has given you can reinforce your sense of worth and purpose. Reflecting on past experiences where trusting God's plan led to unexpected blessings can strengthen your faith in His unique plan for you. Practicing humility and recognizing that everyone's journey has its own struggles and triumphs can help you appreciate your own path more deeply. The eighth thing you should never do when God isolates you is lose faith and patience. Maintaining faith and patience during challenging times is crucial. Turn to prayer and scripture for comfort and guidance. Trust in God's timing and purpose, cultivating patience and contentment. Your steadfast faith will carry you through the darkest moments reminding you that God's plan is always for your ultimate good. Think of the story of Joseph, who endured years of hardship and isolation before rising to a position of power in Egypt. His patience and unwavering faith in God's plan were ultimately rewarded. During your time of isolation, you may face moments of doubt and impatience, but remember that God's timing is perfect. By maintaining your faith and patience, you can navigate these challenging times with grace and emerge stronger and more resilient. Develop a routine that includes daily scripture reading and meditation to keep your faith strong. Engage with online faith communities or join virtual Bible studies to stay connected and encouraged. Surround yourself with positive influences that reinforce your faith and provide support during difficult times. Trust that God's plan is unfolding in its perfect time and remain patient as you await the blessings that are sure to come. Reflect on past experiences where waiting led to greater blessings and use these memories to strengthen your resolve and trust in God's timing. Practice mindfulness and deep breathing techniques to manage stress and maintain a sense of calm and patience. Regularly reminding yourself of God's promises and the examples of patience in Scripture can bolster your faith during times of waiting. Engaging in spiritual practices such as fasting, prayer, and worship can deepen your faith and help you stay patient and focused on God's plan. Sharing your journey with trusted friends or mentors can provide encouragement and accountability during times of doubt. Writing down your prayers and reflections can help you process your feelings and reinforce your trust in God's timing. Developing a deeper understanding of biblical characters who exhibited great patience can provide inspiration and practical insights for your own journey. Isolation serves a divine purpose in your life, offering opportunities for spiritual growth, character refinement, and strengthened faith. By embracing this period of solitude, you can realign your priorities, avoid negative distractions, stay active and engaged, resist comparison, and hold on to faith and patience. Use this time to deepen your relationship with God and focus on your spiritual development. Share your stories and insights about your experiences with isolation and encourage others to find the divine purpose in their journeys.